Can I welcome everyone to the sixth meeting in 2019 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Uh, the first uh, item we have is uh, taking a decision in private. Uh, it's proposed we take item seven on the supplementary Delegated Powers Memorandum for the Planning Bill in private. Are we agreed? Okay. Uh, agenda item two is consideration of SSIs laid under the European Union Withdrawal Act, uh, and we're considering these instruments in terms of the SSI protocol. Um, so we're look, looking at the scrutiny procedure under which they've been laid and the categorisation applied by the Scottish Government. So the first one is the draft public pro procurement, etc. Scotland Amendment EU Exit Amendment Regulations 2019 bit of a mouthful, a um, uh, bit of a history to these regulations as well. Uh, the ones that we're looking at today amend regulations that we previously considered at our meetings on January the 29th and the 5th of February. Uh, the Scottish Government's laid this instrument under the affirmative procedure and has categorised it as of high significance. Our advisers indicate the scrutiny procedure and categorisation could be appropriate. Any comments from members? No. So are we content the appropriate scrutiny procedure has been applied? Okay. And are we also content the instrument is appropriately categorized as of high significance? Okay. And then we've got some instruments that have been laid under the negative procedure. Uh, these have been categorized by the government as of low significance. Their SSIs 24 to 26 and 34. In each case, our advisers indicate the scrutiny procedure and categorization could be appropriate. Um, are we content that the appropriate scrutiny procedure has been applied? Okay. Uh, and similarly, that uh, it's appropriate to categorize it as of low significance. Okay. Gender item three consideration of uh, an instrument which has been laid under the European Union Withdrawal Act 2018. Uh, we're not required to consider the choice of procedure because the Act requires it to be laid under the affirmative procedure. The instrument is the Draft Fishery Products Official Controls Charges EU Exit Scotland Amendment Regulations 2019. It's been categorised by the Government as of low significance our advisers have not raised any issues with uh, the ca categorization on the grounds the instrument makes only minor and technical changes which ensure continuity of law without any policy change. Any comments from members? No. Uh, is the committee content the instrument is appropriately categorized as of low significance? Okay. Gender item four, consideration of instruments subject to affirmative procedure. Uh, we just considered the fisheries products instrument under the previous agenda item and we're now considering the technical aspects of this SSI to ensure that it's fit for purpose. Is the committee content with the instrument? Um, the remaining four draft affirmative uh, instruments cover a variety of topics. Uh, number one, uh, the jurisdiction and judgments, family, civil partnership and marriage same-sex couples, EU exit, Scotland amendment, etc. regulations, 2019. The second one, the carers allowance uprating Scotland order, 2019. The local government finance Scotland order, 2019. And the freedom of information, Scotland Act, 2002, designation of persons as Scottish public authorities order, 2019. Uh, we've got no points raised by our advisers on these instruments, so is the committee content with them? Okay. <clears throat> Gender item five, consideration of instruments subject to the negative procedure. Uh, our legal advisers have not raised any points on the remaining instruments. These are SSIs 2019, 21, 23 to 25, 27 to 29, and 33 to 35. Is the committee content with these? Okay, and in relation to the Council Tax Reduction Scotland Amendment regulations, members will note we've received a letter from the Minister regarding our concerns about the need to consolidate these regulations. 
The Minister states they've not been consoli consolidated because further amendments are likely in response to further changes to universal credit. However, versions of the principal regulations have been attached to the policy note for the instrument that show the source and effect of changes made to the original text. Um, so, before we make a decision on that, uh, any comments from members? Yes, Convener. Stuart. Mm. Uh, thank you, Convener. Just uh, a brief point. Um, I think this is uh, the, the letter we've received from the ministers is very helpful, and I think it also indicates the, obviously the work that our committee has undertaken in this particular area. And um, it's, I, I just very much welcome the, the progress that's been made in this area. Yeah, um, I'd agree with that. I think it is uh, very, very useful and a step forward. So does the committee wish to welcome the uh, Scottish Government uh, has provided versions of the principal regulations detailing changes made? Okay, thank you very much. Agenda item six, instrument uh, not subject to any parliamentary procedure. Our legal advisers have not raised any points on SSI 2019-22. Is the committee content with this? Okay. And I'll now move the meeting into private session. <laughs>